Right. Okay. So join me right now. Hello. Um, just getting everything set up really quick right now for this amazing, awesome extravaganza. If I can get the stuff. Um, let's see here. We're starting two minutes late because Hannah's not good at time management. <laughs> so going to move this just for a second while we get this up and running. And as soon as more folks come in, we will begin. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've never hosted one of these by myself. That has been um, of my own content. I've only been a part of other live streams that have been um, that have been a part of other properties. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, it's me being uh, spontaneous and finally kicking myself to do something like this. Um, so this will be, this will be, this will be quite interesting. You guys will have to, um, Tell me whether or not you you like this. So, you know, we're we're just gonna see. I'm rambling because I don't I don't know where or what I'm really doing. All right, there we are. Okay. Just pulling up the questions and let me grab my host really quick as well. I see that people are coming in. Hello, hello. Um, we are. Okay. Now I will add my um, <laughs> almost said co host there for a second. Um, he is my co-writer and editor, so um, I know that he will be joining us soon. So we'll we'll see. Yes, we're running on YouTube as well. Um, just trying to figure out everything right now. It is very, very dark, so let me turn on the light. This is my boyfriend. He is my editor and co-writer. It's up? amazing. Okay. All right, here we are. Okay, so um, do you want to start with Q and A first because we got a lot of questions in the ask. Yeah. Um, we can get started with this. Okay, cool. Um, before before we get started, I um, just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's watching right now that's been supporting this it's been really surreal so um thank you i know i might seem a little bewildered right now but it, it's, it's okay it's all good it's all right um just turn up that a little bit um so i um the, the way that I wanted to do this is um, I want to hit on q and A. I I want to um, kind of talk about like the inspiration and just like the characters and what it's like for you, Tristan, to, you know, look over this <laughs> and write it as well. And like, you know, character development on your end as well. Um, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I have old art here as well to kind of pull back on um, to show you oh, guys <laughs> really um, how long 
been working on these characters for and where they kind of came from. Um, okay, yeah, so let's jump into the Q&A, which normally we're, you know, it's okay. We're, we're a little unorthodox here. We do Q&A first rather than last, but it's all right. It'd be like that sometimes. It, it do, it do be like that sometimes. So the the first question that we have here, I'm I'm live on Instagram and um, uh, and, YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube. I'm sorry. Hello. Um, so if I if I'm looking from one place to another, it's I I'm you know I'm I'm just trying to get both. Um, so the first question is precisely how many characters that there are. Um, <laughs> That's a good question. That is a very good question because uh, we we're we're going to be introducing more characters later on in the series. But um, if you're talking about just the crew, there's the main seven, um, and then there's the children, of course. Which I actually got a question about um, the kids. So. Um, there are children, they are a part of the main crew, but um, I've pulled it off on um, introducing them because, um, well, I'll tell you why a little bit later because we have exciting yeah. news. <laughs> but um, yes, if, if you're talking about the main crew as of now, there's seven adults and uh six kids so that's it's math um <laughs> it's a lot. number over 10 <laughs> i can tell you that much um it's 13. it's 13 it's 13 thank you this is this is why you saved me saved <laughs> me so many times um i'm here to do math yes you're the, you're the smart one i would argue that point <laughs> I don't know. I'm just here for show. Um, but, okay. So the next question is, sorry, I'm looking at like a word document right now. Um, oh, this is a fun one. I like this one. Okay. So who's the, who's mentally the strongest and who's men or who's mentally the strongest and who's physically the weakest vice versa well what would what would you say because i i already have one for 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 one of them <laughs> which one do you have which one do you have well for physically the strongest it would have to be ken holmes <laughs> um oh yeah definitely you see you see ken holmes me like a football and not even blink. Yeah, she is a very, 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 very big, tall, scary Danish lady who's yeah. based off of Vikings and also based off of other characters as well. Kind of a hodgepodge. Um, <laughs> she, what I'm trying to say is that she's the muscle of the ship and she's the captain's bodyguard for a reason. <laughs> So, yeah, I had a I had a candle on. I thought it I thought it would. Uh, it's a tiny candle, but you know, it's all right. It's yeah, <laughs> it smells Sorry. good. Good. Oh yeah, we got. Hi, Brandon. Yeah, it's it's pronounced kin. It's not sin. Um, that's what my mom had thought at first as well because she was like. You spelt that wrong, and I'm like, no, I didn't. That's her name, but um, yeah. <laughs> but you know, her name her name's Kin, pronounced Kin, but not with a K. It's with a C. Yeah, it's uh, Danish. Yeah, um, physically the weakest, I would probably have to say Thazalon, um, the Frenchman. Yeah, that would probably be my. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely Thaz too. I have to agree on that one. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, she exactly. would punch somebody. Well, you know, you'll you'll see, but she she does punch somebody. Yeah, Not gonna name who, does. but she does. <laughs> I'm hundred percent here for it. Yeah. Um. No, but Thaz would probably have to be the weakest physically. physically at least. Um, he, yeah. he has the muscles that I do, which there's none. Um, but he's, he's actually a, um, ex noble Frenchman. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got to say on that. But, um, yeah, what you expect from that description. yeah. Who would you say the, the, the strongest mentally would be? Who, who would you say? It depends on what way, because if we're talking about just in general, hello, person who's joined Instagram chat. Oh, um, hello, Stephanie. I am shifting my camera for it looks kind of dark. In, in general, Sherlock is probably going to be a top answer for that, but that's kind of the easy one. I don't know. They all, mental strength is harder. You've <laughs> mixed them up with Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, you <laughs> Which he is, he is based off of Sherlock Holmes, which less the loosely. name Holmes, but you know. Yeah, loosely based, but yeah. William's definitely probably going to be one of the top ones on that, pro mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Um, I guess the, the weakest mentally, which I don't, I'm not, I don't know. Um, I don't think any of them really are. I mean, maybe Leo because like anger issues. Yeah. Maybe. 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 I definitely can. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, they they're all they're all diff they're all smart in their own ways, you know. Mhm. Mm you can't you can't ask a fish to climb a tree. Yeah. But as I mean, he like, could, you know, like, but I don't think they would be able to. Yeah. As far as handling their personal issues, I definitely think Leo would be pretty far down on them. Yeah. Just, okay. Just cause. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Um, in addition to Instagram, we also have Twitter now. So that's been yeah. really fun. Um, I will link the uh, Twitter after the live stream, if you guys would like to come give that a follow. Um, it's been relatively new, so I haven't been, been promoting that much that, and I've been busy um, working on the Kickstarter, and um, well, I've done with the Kickstarter, just kind of updating it a little bit, uh, updating the website, also um, talking to people in terms of producing merchandise, so that's been fun. Um, what else? Let's see here. Okay. So one of the questions was, uh, was it hard to design the characters? Um, I, I, I've designed them all personally myself. Um, I, yes, I'm not one for the drawing of things. Yeah. So for me, I'm a really, really visual person. Um, it, it's kind of hard to explain because for certain characters, it's like, okay, so take for instance, Opal, right? Um, I'm sure that I probably have a early drawing of Opal in here. I think I might, but I might not. Um, but uh, here we go. So take for instance, Opal. Um, Opal... O Opal, as we know her now, has been around for a very long time. Um, she, her design hasn't really changed a lot. Um, I've taken a, I've taken a few things out or modified things here and there, but she's looked the same throughout the whole time that she's been her own character. Um, 
I should have bookmarked these, but that is okay. And that's my sister running in the back. Um, anyway, so as far as Opal goes, or somebody like Opal, um, she's been around for a very long time. She's actually um, based off, well, her, her personality is based off of a nether character um, that I used to have back in um, 2013 to 2015 named, um, she was actually a Lord of the Rings um, <laughs> OC that I had um, and her name was Pansy. And um, you know, I can't find any pictures of early Opal right now, but um, as far as like a character like Opal goes, no. As far as a character like Thomas goes, yes, he's gone through many, 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 many changes. Um, it started from short hair, um, more of like an Englishman, like short hair kind of stock character number two Englishman pirate um, to um, how we know him now, where he's a Welshman who's kind of graying a little bit, but it's okay. Um, that happens. It happens, you know, it, it happens with age. I'm, I'm already getting gray hairs, but um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it depends on the character, but as far as coming up with designs, um, I like creating costumes. I'm a cosplayer. I uh, haven't been recently, but, you know, it's okay. Um, but yes and no, it, it just it, it depends on the character. So, um, let's see here. What is another question? Ooh. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna let you answer this one. How many accidents uh, have been on there? Have uh, how many accidents have there been on the on the ship? What do we define as an accident? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty broad term. So, I mean, we have a kitchen, a forge, cannons. Weapons, right? It's a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, we have so many places that there could be accents. I'm going to turn on a light really quick, and yeah, you're good. I am excited to hear your answer. I like how this. I like how I get this. One. I um, as far as accents, there haven't been too many major ones. Uh. Especially with the cannons, Thomas keeps his cannons very clean. Uh, but there have a few major accidents, especially not necessarily once we got to the, the crew as we know them now, but in the earlier days when it was William and, and uh, Jonathan. Yeah, when it was William and John, I feel like there were a lot more accidents before we got the rest of the crew. I feel didn't we have didn't we have one of the cannons backfire and just launch all the way across the ship one time? Didn't, didn't, I, I thought I remembered that. That was a pretty big accident. Um, I that. Especially when it was only William, Jonathan, and Ken. Um, oh, yeah, there were a lot of accidents. So. Yeah, let's just say that Ken's kind of calmed down in her old age. Uh, but we'll be yeah. explore we'll be exploring it more once more issues come out. But yeah, I, I'd say that there, technically there's been countless accidents, but like there's only been a few major ones here and there, you know. One with a certain uh, eight kind of cold, <laughs> uh, you know. Underwater beastie. <laughs> uh, yeah, an underwater beastie. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. So, uh, uh, oh no, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just going to say that that one's going to be a fun one to uh, introduce. Yeah, that that will be a interesting uh interesting one. Let's let's just say. Oh, very. Um no, so in the YouTube comments we got um Brandon asking why did you name this ship the Baker and that honestly kind of goes back to um a long, long time ago in ye old days when there was role play chat form sites 
like sham chat. Um, I had a role play um, that was a uh, pirate AU of Sherlock and John that lasted for a while and then it kind of turned into this um, of Sherlock and John being pirates. Um, I still very much am into Sherlock, um, but taking those characters from that role play and then turning them into my own kind of characters is what I did. Yes, they are inspirations for um, uh, William and, and Jonathan. And, you know, you can kind of see the similarities and the, the inspiration which I drew from them. But, um, you know, just kind of taking your, you know, like taking taking pieces from, from your inspirations. Um, yeah. Like, them yeah, exactly. Like, honestly, so many, so many artists, um, so many artists do it. I know, uh, at least like in film and in, you know, comics as well. Um, like William Turner for, um, you know, Thomas was a big inspiration. Yeah. So um, yeah. let's see here. In canon, did they name the ship that, or was it another story? Um, I don't remember what the ship's name was in that, but I just thought, hey, Baker, Baker Street. It's big brain time. Big brain. It's huge brain time. Um, <laughs> the biggest. The biggest. No, but um, that's that's where that came from, and just you know, you take you take characters that you really like, or you take, um, you know, you take people that you really like, and you just mold, you just kind of mold aspects from things that you like into the characters. Like, um, <laughs> um, Thazalon is. Um, Yeah, exactly. They they come they 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 become their own original characters, although they might be inspired by other by other things as well. Um, you know, I mean, as long as you're not like blatantly going, yes, I've taken uh, I don't know uh, Jack Sparrow, but his name is Mo, but he's exactly the same as Jack Sparrow. He yeah. looks like him too, you know. Then that would, you know, that would be blatant, you know, ripping off. But, um, but, what was I saying? No, but like with Fazalon, um, he, he was inspired by, um, Ardlo Voltaire, the Gothic singer. I really like Ardlo Voltaire a lot. Um, he is one of my favorite artists. He is whole character, Thassalon I'm talking about, um, his whole character was based off of the song Almost Human by Ardlo Voltaire, which is a song about Satan being, well, Lucifer being cast out of uh, heaven. Um, but, you know, you'll find out more as to that later, because that is a major spoiler for the series. Um, but he is a, he's a, he's a major, um, inspiration and um you know like uh Ardlo Voltaire Lestat from um Interview with a Vampire and um Scar from uh Lion King were all very big inspirations for um Thazalon and not only aesthetic wise but kind of personality wise at least in the earlier days um now you know he's he's um He's he's kind of trying. I'm trying to think a way how to explain it without giving it away. Um, he's a lot calmer from when when he has demons of his own. Let's let's put it at that. Um, 
Let's put it at that. It's it's very hard to explain Thazalon's character in detail without giving away extremely important key plot points. But yeah. um but yeah. He deals with his own demons. Yes. Um let's see here. Another question. Oh, that's really nice. It's it's not it's not a question, but it's it's still really really nice, and this made me like scream um, when I like first saw it. Um, somebody put in there, "Your series is so amazing and wonderful, and I love the character designs. They are lovely." Thank you. That that really 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 means a lot. Like a lot a lot. Yeah, it means a lot. Thank you to whoever said that. It, it really means a lot. This is something that is personal to me and also my boyfriend as well. Um, this is something that is very, very near and dear to both of our hearts. And um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to do a few more questions because we'll be halfway through the live stream. Um, let's see here. So the plans for the future um, of this series, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that it does turn into something big. You know, if it doesn't, it's okay. But, um, you know, if I'm going to be like extremely honest right now, I, you know, what creator wouldn't want their creation to become really big, but um, you know, it it's it's. I I hope that it helps people in the way that you know it's it's helped really both of us. Um, yeah. And I just I really hope that. Um, you know, I ideally, I'd really like to turn it into a film. Um, I, I see a wild Ella. Nice. My sister's wild. in the background, so. Wild Ella in her natural habitat. But um. But yeah, um, I'd really like to turn it into a film, um, a live action film, um. You know, I, I think it'd be really, really nice. It, um, you know, uh, it, it would be kind of hard because it, it is an ongoing series and you'd probably have to choose like a plot point to base a solo film on unless you're doing like what Twilight did where it's like one part, two part, one. Da, 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 da. Um, but, you know, like a film or a TV series even, probably a TV series would work better, would be really nice. But, um yeah. <laughs> so um, right now we are, I'm checking the Kickstarter right now. Um, we are almost at the $400 mark. So um, we're almost to our goal. So that's really, really awesome. Um, if you guys are watching right now and if you have not donated or if you have not shared, um, you know, it would be really, really, really nice if you guys to possibly, you know, even a dollar, a dollar helps or just sharing it. Um, anything at all helps. If you're not in a financial situation to donate, I, I'm not asking you to spend your money on me. Just share it. It's free. Tell your friends, you know, uh, repost, reblog, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure to be honest, but, um, uh, this, I'm sorry. All the internet lingo. Yeah, all the all the internet lingo. Um, this is my first Kickstarter that I've ever done in my entire life, so I'm not sure how things work. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, just like liking, sharing, following, word of mouth, hear ye, hear ye, cling clang, um town crier. I don't know why that came to mind, but it kind of did. Um, but 
you know, it, it, it really, really, really helped. We're very, very close to our goal. And, um, you know, honestly, most of it is going to um, help cover the cost of um, printing and dis, dis, uh, disres. I can't talk. Um, dis, yes, that distribution of um, the the first issues. Um, so, yeah. So kind of moving a little bit away from the, um, how many more days there's left on there? There is 51 days until we reach our, um, kind of moving a little bit away from um, the Q and A. Um, we have some really, really, really exciting news. Um, so, obviously, this is this is a prototype. Um, these will look a lot nicer when they come out. But um, I've been working on um, a. It, it's not going to be this big. It's it's going to be smaller. It's going to be more along the lines of a uh, single issue comic book. But this is the uh, this is the first issue completely. Um, finished uh except with the sub except except for the supporter names and for um more of like the legal stuff um but you know but i'm just gonna flip through super quick so this is what it would look like um you know it, it has some illustrations and this is basically what um, you guys would be getting. It's 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 kind it's like a novel, like short story, comic book hybrid. Think like getting a short story, but in the form of a comic book, but with not a lot of pictures. If that if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I've been working on this and. Um, you know, there's some illustrations that go along with that as well. Um, not as much to be a comic book, but it's mainly, you know, a novel. It's it's a little hard to explain, but um, I've been working on that. I've also been in contact with um, some companies to help produce, um, like, pins and buttons and um, such things like that. Um, currently right now with the job market, I do not have a job right now. I, um, you know, I am paying out of pocket for all of this up until now. So, um, that's, what's going to help a lot with the Kickstarter and just, um, you know, being able to get this stuff done and out and published and, um, you know, produced and stuff. So, yeah, we also have more exciting news. Um, the first issue will come out around, I want to say, it's looking like uh, September, October-ish. Um, but, however, to, you know, to, to kind of satisfy you guys, um, Tristan is working on a little short before the first before the first issue comes out kind of like a prologue in a way not a prologue yeah. but something along those lines like a short story to kind of set the ground and for you guys to get to know the characters more and um just just to kind of get the ball rolling on that so that will probably be coming out um when it comes i'm sorry I should be able to get it done within the next few days. Yeah. But the the final product isn't going to be physical, not for now at least. But um that should be that should be out and published and um on the website and you know and links and all that. Um like early August, mid August at the latest, but probably early August. 
So, yeah. I'm trying to think what else there was. Do you want to talk about, like, what basically what the short's going to be about or just kind of give them a taste of. Yeah. So the short is going to be about the night before their first adventuring from issue. It'll be following around uh, Captain William as he checks in on everyone and sees how they're getting ready and make sure everything is getting in order because, you know, it's the captain's job to keep everything in line. It's not going to be super adventure packed. I'm going to be mostly focusing on getting some of the basic character traits established. Some of the more, just kind of laying the ground for everything. So that the next day's adventure makes a little, try, hopefully makes more sense. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be too long. I'm thinking probably like about five pages or so. It'll be a fairly quick and easy read. Yeah, so that will be coming out around, like, early August-ish, around that time, um, just because we got to edit it, and, you know, I got to do some of the drawings for it, and um, it will it will be up on the website, and it will be up on, um, you know, it will probably be up on the website and up on um, where we're going to be sharing it as well, but... Um, yeah, so we're we were in the um, stages of writing the uh, second issue right now, um, editing that and then doing the drawing, but also making sure that the first issue gets out smoothly and um, you know all all that goes over well. Um, trying to think what else, um, but if you guys want I can show you some very early art of uh it's 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 mainly it's honestly mainly kin because um I can only find early art of kin uh, but you know she's she's shifted quite a bit um at least from the beginning her outfits more or less been the same but uh there have been other parts around that have changed yeah. <laughs> you know, character development is important. Very important. Um, it, it, it's quite funny because um, when I first started uh, writing Ken, she was actually, uh, her looks wise was actually based off of um, Jennifer Conley, especially from Labyrinth. So um, like a very young kin was a, um, <laughs> she looked like Jennifer Conley from Labyrinth. Um, so that's really fun. But um, yeah, like don't mind the bad Harley Quinn. This was like around uh, 15, I want to say. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Something or other like that. Um, but no, she's, she's changed quite a bit in yeah. the sense of personality looks why she's always kind of stayed the same. Um, you know, going from quite a happy looking person in that picture to, uh, you know, not so happy looking, uh, person in more recent pictures, but, um, you know that's how life be sometimes. You know it do it it, it really be like that. It it really sure. it really do be like that. <laughs> but um, oh geez, um, I kind I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about um, um, Opal. Um, yeah. <laughs> so so with with Opal um. I, I, I have to say Opal and Kin have been the oldest characters that um, have been around or the characters that have been around the most um, that so so with with Kin and Opal um, as of as I've mentioned previously Opal was originally based um, well 
Opal, Opal's kind of another form of my old uh, Lord of the Rings character, Pansy Took. Um, but sure, her personality came from Pansy's. Um, but she also kind of came from um, one of my oldest um, OCs, who's also another Lord of the Rings OC, wouldn't you know, who's also a Pirates of the Caribbean OC, wouldn't you know, um, who dated William Turner, wouldn't you know. I did not like Elizabeth Swan for a long time. Um, yeah, I know, it's, it's completely wild. Um, but both Ken and Opal came from uh, my old character, Flutter. I know, really original name. It's super awesome. Um, which is great because I started drawing Flutter when I was about 10 years old. So you're going to see some very, very, very old art. Um, like, very old art. It's bad. Um... So this is Flutter. It's great. It's wonderful. Keep in mind a 10 year old drew this. Um, so both of those characters kind of came from that particular character mostly um, from both sides where like um, Opal, Opal's more of the carefree, like, oh, more hobbity side of Flutter, even though she was a Duna Die Ranger. Um, but, um, she was more of the carefree side in which you see that now she's, you know, very, I'm pastel and I'm yellow and, you know, everything's great. And I'm a flower child and, you know, I take care of everybody, but I'll cut someone, you know, um, yeah. but, um, and then, and then obviously a uh, kin came from the. I'm a hardened warrior with horrible backstory and da 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 da, da you know. Um, she, you know, she's hardened warrior. I don't smile at anything. Hmm. But, um, but those, those two, um, those two came from Flutter and it's just kind of interesting seeing how both of them, uh, you know, are their own like fully developed people where they do feel like people. And I hope that when this gets published and when you guys get to know the characters better, um, and I hope that you guys are starting to get to know the characters, the posts and stuff, um, you know, that they do feel like real people to you because, you know, I, you know, it, it's different for both of us to say being like, yes, we've been around these characters for a certain amount of time, um, you know, and they, they do feel real. But, you know, I just, I hope that they, in a way, will feel real to you guys as well. But, um, also wanted to ask Tristan, he helped a lot with, um, Thomas's personality and his creation as well. Well, Thomas was already created character. It was just kind of fine tuning the details and really getting the essence of Thomas, which sounds kind of weird and sounds like, a dark crystal kind of thing. We get the essence of Thomas, you know. <laughs> but yeah, like Thomas essence. Yeah. So Thomas's character was really interesting. Um initially I did base him quite a bit actually off of William Turner. I have to admit I did take a lot of inspiration from him. Because I was like I uh, I like a pirate character. I know what I'll do. <laughs> Because I, I work better, I, as we've been saying, you know, I tend to work better if I have a base character or something like that to go off and build from there. But a lot of Thomas's developed, Thomas was actually originally meant for him to be just sort of a background character. I didn't intend for him to be such a major part of the series, I'm such a major member of the crew, but uh, here we are. <laughs> and that meant that a lot of his development I did kind of on the fly. Like, I had to explain why this, like, was he 16 or 17 when he came to the show? Um, I have it written down. Um, he was like, he, he was, was old. Yeah, I think he was about like 
18, maybe. He was older than yeah. Ken when he came onto the ship. And when you, That's true. yeah, because yeah. with with Tristan before we had started dating, um, he he, I talked to him about helping me um, write for this series, and you know, kind of gave him like a rough like, mm, you know, this character. I really love him, but you need to help me. I, like, I'm stumped, but. Yeah, so a lot, like I said, a lot of his development I did on the fly, which was, I, that's how I do a lot of my character development, come to think of it, actually, it's a little bit stressful, but, like, it's, it works. But a lot of his, I tried to make him sort of, like, I'm very much like a dad character. Like, you, you're going to read about him, and you're going to go, oh, yeah, that's a dad. Yeah. <laughs> He's got big dad energy. He's got big stress dad energy, I feel like. <laughs> but uh, he, one, one thing I do like to do with my characters is I like to have at least one thing that they're very like particular about, and for him, it's the cannons. Yeah. The man he loves his so, cannons. He's so particular about his damn cannons. And I'm like, Thomas, why are you doing this? I know I made you, but also why? <laughs> Yeah, a lot of his development was based off of the fact that I wanted to give him that sort of dad character energy because I felt like he needed it. it just seemed like that was the right direction to take him in. I was like, oh yeah, th th this one, this one, this one has dad energy. I was like, I have like three things that I'm going to turn into. Somebody, <laughs> during his birthday, somebody called him a freaking dilf. And I was like... <laughs> Why? What the heck? You guys don't even know him yet. It made me laugh. It was funny. I was like, I, was like, I mean, if that's what y'all want to do with this, you know, I've read worse fan fiction. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't know what DILF is, um, I'm going to keep this as PG as I can. Um, it means, Dad, I'd like to insert a procreating action here that starts with F and then rhymes with duck. So, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, was, that was really interesting to have that had come up on his birthday. Yeah, that was, that, that was, that was fun. That was really fun. Yeah, once, once I learned about that, I was like, oh, his first reaction is going to be like, you know I'm married, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's family man. You know that I'm, I can't do a Welsh accent. You know that I'm married, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> I can't do a goatee, but you know, it's all right. It's okay. He's got a goatee. I know. I, it's like you don't care, right? I'll just do the mustache. You know that I'm married, right? <laughs> like, I feel like you would have gotten so stressed. <laughs> Yeah, like it's it's just it's just interesting watching these characters develop because like again, yeah, no, yeah, they you know they they feel like real people, but at the same time they're kind of like your children, and then but you're like, yes, this seventy year old man is my child, you know. Oh, yes, this is my baby. This is my baby. Don't don't touch my baby. You, you know, <laughs> see this here. This is my baby. Mine. Um, but you know, it's 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 just it's 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 interesting because you know, reading a lot of um a lot of other um uh, creators characters normally it's like, you know, uh, you know, I'm 25, I'm I'm 16, I'm, you know, more along the lines of um younger. Um the you know the the youngest one is Opal when she's um, twenty eight, but um, you know it it's just it's 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 just interesting um, with that and then also you know kind of I guess kind of going against the norm I because I don't want to be like I'm not like other girls I'm not like other creators or whatever you know. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to give off that impression. It's just, it's interesting because, um, you know, uh, I, I like, I like, I like pirates a lot, a lot, a lot, a 
whole lot. Um, quick side note: I liked. I, I, I've been a fan of pirates. I've liked pirates. I pirate, 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 pirate. Right. Um, I remember vividly nine years old, having a dead men's chest, um, poster in my room. I'd kiss Jack Sparrow on the lips. Good night. Every single night for like a year. I liked pirates and I still do the thus everything. Um, but no, you know, you don't, you don't see a lot of pirate media in, um, well, media, um, you know, you have you have black sales, which the, that show has ended. Unfortunately, it was a very very good show. Um, you you have um, Black Flag, the Assassin's Creed game, which is really good too. Um, you know, you have Pirates of the Caribbean, which is the biggest one. Um, you know, you you have this media, but it's not like a lot where you know I. I like medieval stuff as well, but you know, there's a ton of medieval stuff. There's a ton of, you know, like a uh, uh, sci-fi stuff, right. Where, you know, it's like Star Trek, Star Wars, uh, you know, and Dr. Who, um, you know, they're not, they're not all the same. That's not what I'm saying, but you know, there, there's more of that or, you know, there's more like uh, Victorian themed stuff. <laughs> the man rolls his eyes to the back of his head, but um. Listen, too many people in my life like Downton Abbey. You know, my mom really likes Downton Abbey. Um, my theater director also really likes Downton Abbey. <laughs> no, but you know, the time the the his the time period is just really interesting, and it's something that I've personally always been interested in, and. You know, I just think that you know it could it could do well, and that these characters can touch somebody's life, and you know, really make a difference for somebody. You know. Yeah. Okay. We have about like eight more minutes left. Oh damn! <laughs> this has come by really, really quick. So, um, I guess I'll open the floor back up to questions. If anybody has any other questions. Um, I can look at the list if, you know, anybody. We've got lists. You can always put them up in the Instagram chat and keep an eye on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like the, the VeggieTales thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember watching that as a kid. Um, very I vaguely. Did the... Oh, I did. <laughs> I, yeah. But yeah, you know, it's, it's, I just, I like pirates and I want more pirate media. So I'm saying, and whatever, post my pirate stuff and I hope you guys like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's yeah, see. It definitely is genre though. Oh, for sure. Let's see. Yes! Yes! I'm sorry to cut you off, but yes, it is 100% okay to oh, make absolutely. fan art of the characters. It is 1,000% yeah. okay. Absolutely, go for it. It is 1,000% okay. Just tag me or send me a message or, you know, mention mention the mention the Baker okay. account on, on, on Instagram or whatever platform or just shoot... Perfect. Shoot us a message, you know. Yeah, but that is a hundred percent okay for yeah, any any artists that want to make fan art. Sorry, I just I got like super excited. I was like, yes, it's okay. Go off, please. I want to see. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Little Opal says, "Do it." She says, do it. She looks at you with her black, soulless, beady eyes. Do it. Do it. Let's see. Let's let's get let's get bleh. let's get a fun one real quick. Sure. Real quick. Yeah. 
All right. Okay. I know my I know my answer for this one. Um, who who cares most about their appearance? I have to say probably Faz, and we did just get a question in the uh, Instagram chat for this. Oh. Oh no 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 no. Okay, so we the boat the boat. Um, I um. <laughs> um be, I'm. We're 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 a long distance couple. He's in um, Ohio. I'm I'm in Southern California. But um, we, I um, took a trip for my birthday to um, San Diego, where they had like this boat museum, and they had a pirate ship. So I started taking a bunch of pictures and like taking a bunch of videos, and um, I it was a way that I thought it would be kind of fun to be kind of like interactive where it's like oh this is on the ship it's not my ship it's um it, it's it's um it's from um the star of india and also from uh oh is it it's the spaniard ship in the um 1500s oh shoot Oh, well, we just lost Instagram because my phone is dead now. So that's really awesome. Um, so I, you know, we just, we just lost Instagram, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and revive it. Um, <laughs> yikes. Um, but yeah, so the the ships are from um, San Diego. <laughs> um, I just kind of took uh, videos from both kind of piratey ships, and um, I thought it would be a fun interactive thing for everybody to be like, "Wow, this is this is this is on the ship. This is a thing that's happening on the ship, although it's not." Um, I mean, if anybody wanted to give me a pirate ship, I would gladly take it instead of a car because I'm terrified of driving. It is scary. I can't do it. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm quaking. Um, Hannah's just using a bunch of words because um, her phone had died. Yikes. Haha. <laughs> so we're going to try and get Instagram back on. <laughs> And laugh about this and go, oh my goodness, why? I mean, if you want to, you got to bring your own accordion, though, because I think those things are really expensive. Those things are so expensive. You know, it's okay. We can just hold it like this. It's fine. Hannah just holds the uh, thing. Okay. Hello, Instagram. I am so sorry. Um, uh, we we cut out. Um, if I can load this, this would be wonderful. Um, I am so sorry, my phone had died, um, but we will um, stay an extra 10, 15 minutes, something or other like that. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us back. Again, apologies, my phone had died. Um, I had it fully charged, but I had us underestimated um, Instagram's magical powers and such. Trying to get back my my boy. If I can get him back, that would be wonderful. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was like in May or something or other. Okay, so. There we are. I'm sorry about that. My my phone died. Um, oh, that's been uh, technical issues. Yeah. We did 
we did get a question about the uh, YouTube channel that you mentioned in the post for this. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I don't I don't have an official channel for the um, the crew, but um, I use my own channel. It's it's my own personal channel where I post my own things. Um, I will, I'll be linking the rest of the live stream um, where you can rewatch it um, in the link tree. But um, yeah, so it will, it will be posted and it will be the live stream as a whole. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm very sorry about that. I should have plugged my phone in, <laughs> but you know, it's all right. Um, but yeah, we'll go, we'll go like another 10, 15 minutes, if that's okay, just to make up for the technical glitch. Yes. But yeah, I mean, if anybody else has any kind of questions right now, um, just, you know, throw them out there. We'll, you know, we'll talk, we'll cry, we'll scream, jump around. Whatever. I'll go drive to the ocean right now. I'm just kidding. I can't drive. I can. I just don't have my license. But, um... I'll drive another three days. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not good. Driving that amount of time just for that would not be good. Um, that's that's what Ohio. That's what Midwesterners do. We skip the airplane and just drive for three days. <laughs> okay. It, it, that's just how it is. It, it'd be that's like that that's sometimes, good. I suppose. Ah, um, what's oh, another thing? Okay, so how about how about we do this for the last ten minutes or so? Crew's favorite fruit. Go. <laughs> oh, jeez, we have this all written down. We we had we've talked about this extensively, but. You know, <laughs> option coming in from our, our very active participant, the laziest germaphobe. Yes. Nice, nice hat, by the way. Nice handle. I too am a germaphobe. Not really. No. I'm not. No, you're not. Yeah, no, if I die, I die. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yes. But, um, no, okay, so, I know, I know Williams is, wasn't his, like, great, no, his wasn't, his was something really obscure, his was, like, dragon fruit or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, like, it's something other like that. All of his favorite things are so obscure that they only happen, like, once every five years, and I'm, like, Yeah, William, like, with like William, he's, he's, like, oh, yeah, there's, you know, the only way that I'm going to eat my food is that if they're not touching next to each other and then it's like, okay, well, what do you want for your birthday cake? There's just what a banana Foster's cake. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's cool. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. It's from the specific port in the specific country. And you know, I think it was like in Morocco or something. It, it's something like that. It's something in like that. It's a Pacific port in Morocco with the Pacific shop at the Pacific time. Yeah, and if it's not that one, he doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want it. He's all like, nah, I'm not going to eat. You're like, no, I don't want it. I appreciate the effort, but no thanks. Yeah, and then you have, like, Opal on the opposite end where she likes food a lot, where she's like, I will eat anything like, and everything except for peas. Yeah, no peas. She does not like peas. Yeah. But in terms of fruits, she does like peaches a lot, um, which is very different as to me because I don't like peaches at all. Um, you don't like I do not like peaches, but hers is our her hers is peaches. Hers are peaches. And for Thomas's. What was this? His for strawberries. Strawberries. That's right. <laughs> strawberries. Strawberries. His favorite was the strawberries. 
They were the strubby bees. Yes, the strubby bees. <laughs> but yeah, um, Kin likes apples. Apples are her thing. She likes apples a lot. But like Granny Smith apples. Yeah. I, didn't we also say Fuji apples? Yeah, Fuji apples as well, which is funny because they're sweet and then the other one is sour. Yeah, and then... What was John's? Jonathan's was... Oh, jeez, I, re I don't remember. <laughs> um... Hannah is trying to remember. Elevator music. Um, so generic piano music in the background, please. Copyright yeah. free. Yeah, yeah it, it's got to be royalties free. Um, yeah. It, um, I, you know, it'll come back later. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to him. Um, Fazlons was mangoes and like more tropical fruits. Yeah. Yeah. His like if it's a tropical fruit, he probably likes it. Yeah. Pomegranates as well. He he likes pomegranates and red grapes because his big thing is red wine. Alcoholic. Yes. Red wine. Not white. Not white. Red it's wine. gotta be it's gotta be red. Um Leo's, I believe, no, were it was food coloring either. No, no food coloring. What was it, Leo? Was it citrus? Yeah, like lemons. Sorry, the connection is being yeah, I know. The connection's being really odd right now. Um I think we might end it here just because my connection's going in and out. And my for joining us for um this live stream, it really does mean a lot if you um well that you came that if you for joining us, guys. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna sound oh. like a YouTuber here, but make sure to like and uh, follow and share and uh, donate if you can to the Kickstarter. Um, you know, the link is in the description and the um, link will be, you know, in Linktree as well. Um, but, you know, thank you guys. Let me know um, if you guys want another live stream like this, but, um, yeah, no, thank you guys all for your support. It really means a lot, but it means the world. have a good night, morning, wherever you are. Have a good rest of your time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.